So today's video is a cautionary tale. Um, I've said this a lot, and a lot of people have asked me about it, and I wanted to kind of reiterate it for anyone that has the same question, if you ever happen to come across this video in future time, or if you're following me now and have had the same question on your mind. Uh, I've been asked time and time again, should I quit my job? Should I jump in with both feet and start my welding business? Most of the time, I tell everyone, don't. Do not do it. And this is why. I know how lucky and fortunate I have been. If I was not as lucky and as fortunate as I have been, uh, with uh, number one up top looking out for me, uh, if I didn't have that, uh, um, I would... I would not be where I am today. I'm not sitting right here uh, telling you guys to get in weld business. My welding business is a huge blessing and been a great opportunity for me. And it's everything that I dreamed it would be, could be, and I think so many more people can have it. That's why I'm preaching it. But I want you guys to do it smarter than I did. The whole reason why I put these videos out is so you guys can do what I did, but do it better and smarter. When someone asks, should I jump out into the real world and start my own weld business with both feet, just go for it. My answer is no, is because just sheer audacity and uh, pump and motivation is not going to be enough to overcome the real world. Reality is that you're not going to have the clientele, you're not going to have the work and you're going to kind of not really have all the tools maybe that you need right off the bat. Or you won't have the capital all up front to put it into your business. We've talked about it before. Well, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because a gentleman talked to me, or has been talking to me, a, a good acquaintance, I should say, of Welderbeast. He, he talks to me quite a bit on uh, WhatsApp. And... He had just told me today a very unfortunate thing. Uh, something had happened with his family, a uh, family emergency. It's going to stop any forward movement he was having with his business. Weeks past, he, he asked if he should go all in, you know, jump two feet. He's got a job. I said, man, please don't. Uh, I just, I don't know what your situation is, but make sure 100% that your clientele and your the jobs coming in, the opportunities will more than 100% cover what your job does now before letting go of that job so he hung on to it he listened to me which just makes me feel amazing that someone listened to my advice and it, it did work out for the best for him because of this uh, the family emergency came up really gonna stop things he's actually not gonna be able to do some of the jobs that he bid out to do uh, he's gonna have to retract them but he just he reached out to me to just let me know and I'm using it as kind of a cautionary tale for anyone uh, exactly why I say not to jump in with both feet is you have no idea what's going to happen. He had no idea. He was not planning at all for this to come up, but it did, and it was an emergency. And luckily, he still has his job. So he still has that that he's hanging on to, still has an income coming in for him and his family, still being able to provide, and he loses nothing. Now you can play it out in your own mind. What would have happened if he jumped in with both feet with his business and his baby, his baby, his business was in the infancy or the baby stages of just getting started and he took a hit like that. I don't think that it would have had enough momentum to be able to take a hit like that. And it very well could have led him to losing a lot more than just the business he had. It, it could have led into him losing trucks or anything that was tied in with his business it could be a possibility so just be cautious make sure you're ready make sure you know that when you're going to start your business you are ready for it and and you can take anything that's going to hit you now am i telling everyone to not start business absolutely not i think it's the best opportunity in the world if you have not started you need to try starting some sort of business on the side or during the weekend, after work, something. Get something going so that eventually you can be running something for yourself. So you're not always tied to your job because your job might end. And what happens if all of a sudden your job just ends? And bam, there's no income. 
and you're having a hard time finding another job? What if all the while you were building your own clientele and your own welding business? What if you had something positioned that if the job was jerked away from you, you had something else to fall on? I'm all about that. I love playing life like it's chess. Always have a backup piece. You never attack without having a piece backing it up. So what if something bad happened, but you had this backup, you had this welding business going, and then you could just fall into it full time because of someone forcing you to, and you were still able to sustain your family because of it. Always have multiple streams of income. That is the best you can possibly do in life. I'm striving for it myself uh, every single day, and I would advise anyone else to do as well. If you've got a job, figure out a way to get another stream of income because that's how you're going to get ahead in life, and that's how you're going to take full control of your life and the life for your family. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. You have a great day, and as always, I'll talk to you later.